Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we actually went and we found this nice Pikachu uh, on our team. And we're going to be showing them off today by clearing this beach that we intentionally skipped last episode. Because uh, I wanted to get a little more experience for Pikachu so they can catch up to Marsh Tom. I didn't, however, realize that it started at such a high level. First thing I want to do, I want to take out this um, side house. Are you after my snow cone? We are. We are, in fact, attacking this guy to get his snow cone. Street Thug Claire comes out with a Poochiana. We're not too worried about Poochiana. Uh, we've got our Pikachu. And look how cute it is. Uh, this one's going to be on our time for quite on our side for quite a bit. Electro Ball. Let's see how damage stacks up. It's level 20. Uh, this Poochiana is 12. If it doesn't one hit, we have a problem. I can't wait. There is a good item for Pikachu that we can get a little later in the game. Uh, we'll probably be picking it up right before going after the sixth gem. So we're going to be medium powered for a while. Because uh, that's going to, I think, double Pikachu's attack and special. But yeah, right now this Electro Ball is probably going to make good work of anything that's water type, anything that's um, flying type. It's Pikachu, so we're, we should be good. Um, Really, we're taking these guys out because I want the item here. I thought they'd be a little stronger. Uh, I didn't expect really 12 and 14 as the levels. But I guess you did just do a gym leader that was uh, 14 as its level. So maybe they're trying to balance it with that. Yeah, with Team Aqua, I guess they were even... Um, they were 16 at the highest. So I guess progression does indicate that it would be 15 and 16 bit sad thing really. However, uh, I mean, clearing this area is going to get us a lot of stuff. We probably actually won't clear the rest of the beach then. It'll just happen when it happens. Maybe in between episodes, so I don't have to worry about running into them. But then again, the beach is out of the way, so. We're taking out Dwayne, the sailor. Tentacool. I swear, this entire seaside house has water types. And I love the little chime that happens every time Pikachu comes out. I wish I could have found all of the um, cosplay Pikachu sprites. That would have been a nice thing to try to put it on the overlay. Instead, we had to settle for just the, the standard female Pikachu. Uh, Machop. Interesting. This is going to be one of our harder fights because Electric isn't going to be super effective on it. Uh, normal not to be. Let's do the Icicle Crash. Very violent looking and didn't kill Machop, but it used Focus Energy, so it's practically dead anyways. Quick attack, why not? It hop, hop, you die, and then it turns around and faces the other way. Good job, Pikachu. You're getting ready for Gen 7 already, uh, where they get to be all happy and... What is it? We, we used Incineroar, so it was flexing at us after winning a fight? In any case... Hello, Tuber Simon. Azuro. Water Fairy or just Fairy right now? I think just Fairy right now, so. Um, unfortunately, our. Well, actually, Electro Ball is still stabbed, so it should be fine. But yeah, it, it's weird trying to fight the Azuro family as a fairy type. It's just never what I consider. I'm used to them being normal or water, not uh, fairy or water. But I think that's all the fight, so let's talk to this guy. Oh, we missed someone? Yes, we did. This this person down here. The burger I heard is taking forever. It's totally making me crabby. I think they missed uh, a chance there to put a K in crabby and just actually reference Pokemon. Because, I mean, it's, if it's the only type of crab you know, I would have thought crabby would have been spelled that way uh, instead of with a C. Sableye, the nice, what is it, ghost dark type. Only real thing that can be yeah. Super effective now is Fairy. It lived. Oh, Sableye, you. You are. Uh, and it's avoided. Come on. You are definitely the bane of my existence. You have given me plenty of issues in other games as well. Um, between your weird typing, 
Um, can't hit him with Psychic, can't hit him with uh, Normal. Nothing is super effective except for Barry now. And he's just, all in all, a hard type to combat. Faint attack? What does Faint do? Uh, I'm not going to need you to clear the effects of it. Like, I don't think that that's a too big of an issue, and I wouldn't want to draw myself using a weaker move, just because I assume we might get detected. Or protected. Alright, that should be the last person. Half a dozen bottles of soda pops. So six ones, they're basically they're better. Uh, oh, we can only buy one at a time. We'll buy two more. That's annoying. Like, I thought we'd be able to buy six if we wanted. Oh, but all right, and let's retreat. Because of how little experience we actually got in this house, I'm not too worried about continuing in it, and I think we should just move on to the next route, because it's going to give better experience anyways. And both my people are 20, at least. I think Pikachu just hit 21. I do want Pikachu to be leading for the next bit, though. Oh, heal. Almost ran headlong into this. Uh, Pikachu does not have enough PP for uh, that sort of strategy, though. But I'm glad that it gets such a powerful move in um, Icicle Crash and um, I already forgot the name of his electric move. Let's double check. Uh, between Icicle Crash and Electro Pump. Look at that. Uh, the faster the user, the more, like the faster we are, the better. And um, hard hitting ice. So Thunder Wave plus Electro Ball is usually going to be a great move set that combo because it's going to reduce their speed a lot, as well as boost that thing's damage. I probably will switch it out for a more stable move that doesn't take two hits. But I mean, at this point, we're getting a lot of um, experience just off of that. Well, we don't have a bicycle, so we're going to be looking for Pokemon. Uh, since he was just saying, do we go above it or below it? And Team Aqua is now headed to Marvel City. That's our next stop on the way. Let's talk to you. Ha ha ha, I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. And we're fighting Pokefan Isabel? It is Pokefan Isabel. Um, not the Animal Crossing dog, but uh, the one with Pichu and Minan. Which unfortunately means we should be the other Pokemon. Let's swap right quick to Marsh Tom. Even though it's going to be wasting a turn, our, we're invincible to any electric move that comes out. Uh, and it just wants to give us things. Well, thank you. Bestowed upon us a... Uh, uh, sorry, an Oranberry. We're slower than it. Uh, also, yeah, our electric move will do too much because of... Uh, because it's uh, fast. It's a very fast Pokemon, plus it is. But we took down Plusle, we have an Aranberry now that we didn't have before. And now we're fighting Minan. Really, we're not too worried about these guys, because, well, Mudshot doesn't. Switcheroo! Oh, he stole our Aranberry! Oh, never mind, he swapped the Aranberry with our Aranberry. If he uses Switcheroo this turn, I mean, they just regained all their berries. That's, that's all that they really did. And Minus goes down. I'm glad that they have plus and minus as their abilities. We never have to worry about static from them. But there, our entire team is now level 21. Oh dear, this won't do. It won't. If you needed a better team there. But now that we have Pikachu and Marshtomp, I'm pretty much at power where I would normally be in a regular uh, playthrough. Because I only tend to train two or three Pokemon. Uh, my starter tends to be one of them, and then I pick a type and just go with it. Uh, reminder, the only real ex uh, the only real reason we wouldn't uh, follow the no-catch rule is if we run into a shiny. I want to say that now, before it happens, and you guys think I just broke the challenge. No. I, I won't use the shiny in battle, but I will catch it. Um, I have nothing against that. 
But here is our next big encounter. We're fighting May. And this is going to be a difficult one because, well, uh, May has, I think, four Pokemon at this point. Three or four. Uh, so regardless, they're outnumbering us. Three. Oh, all right. Uh, Slugma to start. Would have been really good for us to lead with um, Marsh Tom to the point where I'm actually going to stop him now. Uh, I, I know for sure um, we need Pikachu to take out uh, Grovile. Grovile will one hit Marsh Tom with any grass move. Uh, we don't have that big uh, level gap. In fact, we might not have any level gap. Incinerate would normally have destroyed a berry if I had one equipped. Interesting. Well, Water Gun will probably take down the button. Not quite. Interesting. Yeah, Rocks are nothing. I'm a ground type. But that would take out any Wingles that you were using to, to battle the Slugma. Which, I mean, isn't a bad strategy, because Wingle is one of the other main Pokemon. Alright. Switching to Pokemon. The entire reason we had to make this top 4 uh, cosplay Pikachu is this Pokemon right here. I wouldn't have worried about it too much. Uh, Pikachu isn't going to get us too much of a benefit in the long run, uh, except to deal with Grovile because it gets Icicle Crash. Bug move, hit us for 11, that means next turn it's going to hit us for 22. Icicle Crash, I'm hoping will do a bit more damage than 22. All right, second Icicle Crash, I think we'll finish things off. We're not faster than it though. So it, for sure, we shouldn't be using Electro Ball. Not to mention Grass is, I think, not very effective from Electric. So, throw Bio goes down. And what is Pikachu left to take on at the end? Whalmer, you know what? This one sounds like a slow water type. So I don't see an issue with us Electro Ball again. To say we're hitting it first. For over half its health. Roll it would have been annoying, but fortunately it missed. And even if it had hit, it wasn't going to kill Pikachu in one hit. But it would do a decent damage if left unchecked. So it's a little bit of an evil thing to do, because if you have a tanky Pokemon, it might not do much to that, but anything you switch into, it's going to wipe out. And May has that same one from the Devon Researcher to heal up our Pokemon at any time. Also, I know I'm not going to be using it too, too frequently, but I definitely want to show off the uh, dousing machine right now. Because... Look at it. It is beautiful. We have antenna. I won't follow it much. Uh, it tells me there's an item nearby, um, but I mean, we're not too worried about missing any items that are on the ground here. Uh, both Pikachu and Marsh Tomp are immune to electric attacks, so electrics are kind of laughable to run into in the grass. Uh, the flashing light tends to be an Illumuse or maybe an electric type, so that would be interesting. Because actually we skipped most of the beach down on the ground there, uh, we are going to push through to get into Monwell City. Uh, and I think I have another one that we can head to that. So, cross under cycling road. Avoid this psychic. Yeah, we're going to be avoiding some encounters now because Pikachu and uh, Marshall shouldn't have any issue in this next gym. So gaining extra levels is a bit unneeded. But I don't think I have any repels. I did double check, but I don't think we do. One step away from quote unquote safety. And it's another electric. I mean, come on, game. You, you know, electric can't. 10 levels below me and electric. If we could handle May, the electrics literally pose no threat. That's the, the biggest issue I see with. Um, no, I want these. Love the berries, beautiful extra PP, and with Pikachu's low PP, uh, it's gonna potentially reduce the amount of trips we have to take to the, um, 
what they call the um, Pokemon set. And the downside is they take a while to grow, so even if I wanted to uh, lay them out here and water them while we were uh, in between episodes, I don't think we'd get a good chance, because it's going to take a day or two to even get them made. I think they're a 48 hour plant, but I don't know. So we head here, we see a familiar face. And he's going to want to head to the gym right away. But they did also mention Rhydel's cycle, and we saw May waking around earlier. We want that. So we're not going to follow him straight through. We're actually going to sneak in here, get this item. At X speed, not that helpful, but with Pikachu's damage being based on speed at, for one move, I get the feeling it'll help us in at least one battle. But if you head over to the right when you get into this town, you're able to head all the way up and go to this bike shop. That's going to be where we get our bike, which I'm always a big fan of the Monk bike. Uh, I never really see a reason to get the Acro bike. Uh, yeah, we came from Little Root, which, I mean, isn't that far. Because, I mean, the route we just took is technically, like, you go up to Old Dale, and then the route to the left of it is 103. We're going to take the Monk bike. So really, Little Root Town is two minutes away, not even. Marshchomp, you're leading, because we'll need you for the next fight. Uh, and we actually also want to equip the, um... We want to register the long bike, because that's going to save us time in the long run, not equip. Because yeah, now we can just hit Y and we can get the bike going whenever. Which leads us to the gym. I want to fight Wally, I don't think we have time to take the gym out in this episode. Alright, they've grown strong, but you might not be stronger than take on a gym. And him and Ralts can beat anyone. If you still have a Ralts, then I don't think you can beat this gym. Uh, but I guess I could be wrong. We're going to be battling uh, Wally. We're psyching themselves up to chase to fight us. We're just sitting on our bike. Single Pokemon, so he actually used... With I like to think that it's like the shiny effect on him, but there, it's a sh it's a Ralts, and we're fighting a shiny Wally. I like to think of that. Ralts, fairy type, so I mean, don't use dark moves. Disarming voice. We'll take a little hit there, and I'm gonna see if we can actually take him out with Mud Shot and Exong. I, I don't know, I think it's weaker than Water Guy. I guess not. Much that's gonna be something we're using a lot in this next area, so. Wally goes down. And I'm pretty sure that's where we should be calling it. And we basically just discouraged him from following his dreams. Wally has now decided to head back to Verpenter. And well. I don't know, he's got to get stronger, but if you're not going to be able to do that, going to Ver Verdinger. And it's bad. In this game, like, when you're playing it in Gen 3, so you're playing uh, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, those ones, it actually wants you to go to Verdinger. It encourages it, the shortcut to get back to the beginning of the game. However, in this game, they teleports you any big movement that you would normally have to do. Um, and that includes the one to get back to the beginning. So you... I found this out uh, on one of my ones. I never actually went to Burton Church Town. I never went and saw Wally's house or anything like that. Uh, this time, I think we will wind up going through it. So we're going to get Rock Smash. Rock Smash we're giving to Pikachu uh, because I want Pikachu to have a fighting move. It might not make too much sense, but it is going to help them in this gym. I mean, in this gym as well. Um, but we only want to get rid of, I guess, Thunder Wave for it. No, Thunder Wave's too useful with Electro Ball. Let's get rid of uh, Quick Attack. We're hoping to outspeed everything, anyways, so we're not going to worry about Quick Attack. And we got Rock Smash. But that's where I'm going to be calling it for today, as we walk into Marvel Gym. In the next part, we will take on Watson and his, uh, well, 
traps in his gym. What do you have to say about it? Leads electric type Pokemon, challenges with water type Pokemon, he'll zap them. Unless you're using Marsh Tom. And he's put switch controlled electric devices all over his gym. Go for it! Yeah, that's it. And thank you guys all for coming on out to watch the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. See you guys next time when we go and take down, um, Watson. Have a good night.